Today we're a little bit further north on the parkway at Dorton Park to check out the summer meadows. So we'll take the trail north here across the meadows. And hey look, that's a part of the Mountains to Sea Trail again. Lots of Coryopsis in bloom here again. And we've got Queen Anne's Lace. Rory Mountain Mint in bloom here. Some Black Eyed Susan mixed in here. And milkweed. Lots of milkweed out here. So I'll be looking for caterpillars on these plants. Now here's a plant that at least shows signs of having been visited by caterpillars. The leaves have been reduced pretty much to the midribs. And here's the likely culprit. This is a milkweed tussock moss caterpillar. Yarrow in bloom here. So here it appears we have a different species of Coryopsis. A little bit taller, larger flowers with slightly different shape to the petals. We've got some pokeweed getting ready to bloom here. Here's one in bloom. The mountain laurels here making fruits. Lots of black locusts coming up here along the trail. Lots of the world loose drive here in this area, but it's done blooming. It's now making fruits. Here we've got one with the last flowers still holding on. Dorton Park is great for butterflies. Here we already have a special one. That's a wood nymph. You don't see this very often. There are quite a few of them among the grasses here. And here we've got one of my favorite little summer bloomers. That's the southern harebell. Those flowers are tiny. But look at how cute they are. Tiny little bells. These are definitely bell flowers that deserve the name. That's ladies' tresses. So this is an early blooming species. It has the spiral flower arrangement. This is a nice, easy meadow trail. If you're looking for something without too much of an incline. We've got some thistles growing here. I guess they are too prickly for the cows to eat. So that's why they survive on this meadow. I believe that is a non-native species. A 
Now the patches of grayish white leaves among the grasses there. That's all mountain mint. So apparently the cows don't like that either. This appears to be the hoary mountain mint, which is our most aromatic one. If you crush the leaves, you can definitely smell the mint. Now here we've got a plant that I often get asked about. That is mullein. It's got these hairy leaves, almost like velvet. And then a long flower stalk with yellow flowers on top. It's not native here. This is actually one of those introduced invasive species if you see it around. And we're headed now from the grazed meadow here up to an area that is not grazed. That's where all the wildflowers are. Lots of fruits on the blackberries here. So if you like to go berry picking, now's the time. The virgin spower is starting to bloom here. So this is a clematis. It's got these white flowers. Lots of milkweed here, and again looking way too pristine. Haven't found any monarch caterpillars yet. Well, the park service is doing some mowing again, but these flower meadows obviously are designated no-mow areas. Yeah, in terms of wildflower display, it doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> That's all dense blazing star. And then the Coryopsis, the yellow ones. see some orange in there, that's probably butterfly milkweed. Yep, there it is. Butterfly milkweed, lots of bees around. I don't see a whole lot of butterflies. So yeah, in previous years this area was full of butterflies. Kind of missing those this year. There used to be a lot of swallowtails, all sorts of different species. Of course the monarchs and some others. And this year just seems to be an odd one with very few butterflies around. Lots of butterfly milkweed though. Most of the butterflies I see fluttering around in here today chasing each other are these wood nymphs. And we actually do have a monarch on milkweed. How about that? So that looks to be a male. It has the black dots on the hind wings, which are the pheromone glands that indicate the male. So he's probably patrolling his territory, hoping for a female to mate with. This is peak bloom time for the flowers here. 
So yeah, if you want to see this, now is the week to go. And here it looks like we've got some Allegheny stone crop. Most of these are just budding. A couple of flowers open already on some of them. A couple of flowers still on the Rose Bay rhododendron, but most of these are done blooming now. Looks like we've got a painted lady. And possibly some kind of sulfur flying around here. Got a tiny little blue butterfly here. Maybe a summer azure. You don't really see the blue color until they open their wings. You probably can't see him but there's another monarch. So they're out here. I think the ones I've seen so far have been males. No caterpillars yet. But hopefully they'll start breeding and we'll soon see more eggs and caterpillars on the milkweed. The milkweed here is already starting to make its seed pots. Those clouds up there mean business. I can hear thunder rumbling in the background there. So I guess I better get back to my car now. So yeah, there's thunderstorms moving in here for the afternoon. We're going to get rained on here pretty soon. <laughs> 